Shalom, everyone. Welcome back to another predestined, predestined kingdom ministry. And I'm so sorry, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry. Shalom. Welcome back to another predestined, predestined kingdom ministry or ministries mm -hmm. international videos. I am Kenithia Johnson or Kenithia J. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. Thank you for getting fed by the Lord. Um, if you're listening, Thank you for being obedient to God himself. Um, yeah, everybody don't listen. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> it's their business too. And number 27. So we're going to go over the number 27 here on this video. Okay, I have something up. I'm, I'm gonna say your name because you won't stop. You gotta stop. Prophetess Maddie Nottage. I saw a picture of her. Pay attention to when you see names and pictures and stuff like that. A lot of stuff you have questions for, God is already answering them. So just pay attention. Sometimes God wants you to pray for these people. Sometimes you are to pray against these people. It just depends on what God is leading you to do. Okay. I saw something really good. And this lady just erased it in the spiritual realm. Anyway, one of the things it said was to trust your inner wisdom, have faith in yourself and the divine. That is not what the hell I wanted to say. That's why you have to have spiritual discernment. You see how people have gifts to manipulate what you see and all of that. Like that stuff be real. I'm not going to make sense to anybody that's not a seer or a spiritual person. So don't try to understand what I'm saying. It just is not going to make sense. But anyway, the first thing I did see was something about the relationship that you're in. And I loved it. And it basically said that you and your person are strong and you guys can tackle on pretty much anything. It says something really good. Sorry, just give me a moment. This is what I go through throughout my day. This lady attacking me like this. I'm glad it's on camera. I pray this video never gets deleted. I need a spiritual police come now. Anyway, let me find something to remove spiritual blockages really quickly. That's normally what happens. God will give a word or say something and then this person comes and say what they want to say. And that's why God keep rebuking this person and saying, you are being a false prophet. You can't do that. You can't say, oh, no, I didn't say this or that's not what you're supposed to see. If something is naturally or organically happen, happening in someone's life and you have to physically manipulate whatever you need to in that moment, it's not God. My sheep know my voice. No other voice they will follow. No stranger's voice. That's you. <sighs> Here we go. Energy blockage removal. I want to find what I had pulled up before it was just erased. I'm so... 
<laughs> Grateful. Anyway, it was a really positive thing. And it was basically saying, trust the path that you're on. You're going on the right path. And that's what all of these numbers are saying. Even from number eight, even 818, 1818, all the eights is saying the same thing. Go with the new person. Trust yourself in the path that God is leading you on. And it's saying the number one thing to keep you going. You are right. You are right. And the, and the second thing that this number is saying for 27, the relationship that you're in is a very good one and is strong. You guys can tackle on anything. That's what the thing said. Now, biblical meaning. Let's see what we got. There are 27 laws of inheritance in the Bible. Abraham and his name occurs 27 times in the scripture. This number is a number of spiritual enlightenment. It's a sign to keep pushing you toward, it's a sign to keep pushing toward your goal. So whatever your goals are, that's basically another uh, point that I saw. Keep aiming towards your goals, your dreams, whatever you have for yourself. God is, Heavenly Father has approved it. He's saying yes. So he's saying keep going Keep fighting, keep pushing. We didn't say fighting, but it definitely said keep pushing. You're not supposed to be fighting. Once God say yes, it's yes. But keep pushing towards your goals and your dreams. Stay optimistic. I saw that last night. And they're saying 27 is... Uh, deriving from the root number three. That's what they say. It is time for you to grow spiritually. I just shake my head because I like God really is leading me. I be listening to all these frequencies and then here come the Lord just confirming every single one that comes to me. And I thank God that he opened my airways and removed all blockages because the same person that don't want me to get married right now is the same person blocking other blessings and other things and, and other gifts that they don't want to come out right now. And God is like, I said yes. Anyway, last thing. That's it. Symbolizes new beginnings and inner strength as well. Stay positive. Have faith. That's another message I've been seeing. Faith. Your faith is what's going to... Um, 
you saying yes, you having the final say for your life, life and death being in the power of your tongue. That's what pushes us to win at the end of the day. That's it. I pray you all have a blessed day. Shalom.